today's video, I'm going to show you how to create amazing eye transition effects using Filmora. Before we dive in, I'd really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Alright, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into Filmora and get started. Alright guys first, add your clips to Filmora. Here are my two raw video clips a close-up shot of an eye and a drone shot. First, drag your eye clip to the timeline. Then, we need to add a mask to the eye. Select any point you want to draw, go to the mask settings, choose the pen tool, and click to add points, and draw the mask around the eye. If you click and hold while dragging, you can smooth out the curve to get a nice accurate mask. After drawing the mask, go to the mask settings and invert the mask. Next we're going to track the mask. Create a keyframe on the path, move a few seconds forward or backward, and adjust the mask as needed. Continue this process until the mask is perfectly tracked. Once the mask tracking is complete, add your second footage to the timeline by dragging the drone video clip underneath the eye video clip. To fix the sharp edges of the mask, select the eye layer, go to the mask settings and adjust the feather to around 85. You can also adjust the mask extend to minus 70 to get a smoother look. Now let's track the eye movement. So this is when the eye moves, our second clip will follow the same movement. To do this, select the eye layer and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl plus D. Go to the mask settings and click the reset button to remove the mask on this layer. Then, go to the AI tools and enable motion tracking. Hide these layers for now. Next you need to find a great tracking point. So in this clip I bring the tracking box to the glossy part of the eye and click the button to start tracking. After that, go to the link element and choose the element you want to link to the tracker. Then unhide your layers and hide your motion tracking layer if you want. Now, you can see our clip tracks the eye perfectly. Then, adjust the scale and position as needed. Alright, after the tracking, let's move on to the transition part. First. Go to the end of the eye layer and split your drone footage at that point. Then, move 15 frames backward and split the eye layer there. Now our transition will happen in this part. So to create the transition using keyframes, go to the beginning of the clip and create keyframes for scale and position. Move a few seconds forward, increase the scale to 1500 and adjust the position to the center. Then bring this keyframe to the end of the clip. Next, go to the keyframe panel Select all the keyframes and add the curve graph to smooth out the transition. Now we have a zoom transition. Next let's adjust the second clip to match the transition. So I adjust the layer like this. And then to make it even smoother, add a dissolve transition with a 15 millisecond duration between the clips. Now it looks much better. So let's add some effects to make it look even better. First, add an adjustment layer to the timeline. The first effect we'll use is the glow effect. Go to the effects panel, select Boris FX plus light. Then choose the BCC plus glow effect and add it to the adjustment layer. Additionally, I like to add a prism effect for an awesome chromatic look. For this, use the BCC prism effect and add it to the adjustment layer as well. Next, go to the effects settings and select the glow effect. Adjust the brightness to 250 and set both the X and Y values to 100. Then. Go to the matte settings and adjust the position as needed. Then to animate the glow effect, go to the beginning of the clip and create a keyframe for brightness with a value of 0. Move to the middle of the transition and increase the brightness to 250. Finally, go to the end and change it back to 0. This will give us a nice glow effect. Now, let's animate the prism effect. Adjust the starting and ending depth values to get a nice chromatic look. Set the starting depth value to around 0.9 and the ending depth to 1.1. To animate this, go to the middle of the clip and create keyframes for both the starting and ending depth values. Then, at the start of the clip, set both values to 1. Do the same at the end. Finally, let's add a handheld shake effect. Use the extreme effect and add it to the timeline. In the effects settings, change the frequency value to 15 and set the Y position to 0. Use the position X value to create the handheld shake effect. At the start, 
Create a keyframe for position X with a value of 0. Move a few seconds forward and change the value to 0.1. At the end, change it back to 0. Make sure to disable the RGB separate option. And that's it. Now our eye transition is complete. Here's the result. So that's how you make an awesome eye transition effect in Filmora. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you're looking to learn more cool techniques, please subscribe to my channel and leave a like on this video. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.